are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck. It's murder time, fun time. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Sinyat. That's right, folks. The maven of mascot mayhem has teamed up with the conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Yankee family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Yankee Ball 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing pairs to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing body. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy? And that's it for our first Excellent job by our contestant. 